And, and, and this is April is Bowel Awareness Month, and it is essential that we think about that part of our body. Well, indeed. We, I mean, traditionally, we're British. We don't discuss these things. It's, it's humour. But, you know, in, in most hospitals, the largest departments of surgery are the departments that deal with bowel disease. Mm. And it's about getting it out there to the public. It's about raising awareness, not being afraid to come and see us, talking about it. This problem that Sam and many others have, they want to live normal lives with it. They want to live independently. It's not something that's visual, but it affects stomas about 120, 130,000 people in the UK. Mm. And then, so how come something like this hasn't existed in the past? Is it just an area that's not looked at? Well, traditionally, we never discuss these things. Mm. I know grandparents, um, etc. it was, they lived lives perhaps at home, less going out. Social media has done enormous things for this. Yeah. Facebook, Twitter, etc. You know, we've recently seen a large number of people putting their images out there saying, look, I'm not afraid to be seen with my stoma appliance. Mm. I want to live normally. Let me live normally. And designed by people that live with the appliances is far better than anything I can do. It put um, it back in, sorry, it just, it puts you back in charge of yes. your life. Yeah. yeah. You can now decide. You're not at the mercy of, oh, my God, you know, where's the toilet? Where's the toilet? You've had the stoma and you have appliances like this which give you the privacy and the discretion that you need. Mm. When it comes to bowel disease, um, because some of the symptoms people may find embarrassing to talk about, they may not be going to their doctors when they absolutely should be, what are those key symptoms? So, to... the, the key symptoms essentially are if your bowel habit has changed. Now, that's not just over one or two days because you've eaten something different. This is over a couple of weeks. And particularly, the key symptom that we really want to see is people that see blood. Yeah. If you're seeing blood from your bottom, that is not normal. You may put it down to your piles but you may be hiding something underneath there don't be afraid to come and see people like me i look at hundreds of bottoms every week yeah. i'm not going to recognize you in the high street yes and you're not going to be shocked by anything no i'm not I, I you know what goes on in that consulting room is very professional it's about we get people pouring their heart out about the symptoms they've got the limitations of their lives we're here to try and help. Yeah. Some of the symptoms can be quite subtle, can't they? Oh, indeed. And that's where it's about talking about these things. I don't feel so hungry. I'm feeling a bit full up. I'm going to the toilet a bit more frequently. It's not the normal sort of stuff you discuss over the dinner table. Mm -hmm. I've seen a little blood, bit of blood when I wipe my bottom. Maybe that's time for you to go and get seen. Get it out there. Do not be afraid. Do well, not be don't embarrassed. Don't leave it today. If only those symptoms you're recognising yourself at home, make an appointment. Go see GP. And for 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 Rick, mm. um, this has um, this it's, has it's changed, changed his, his life. life. It's changed. We didn't go out for for years before the stoma, uh, and now he, we're comfortable to travel on the train, in a plane, on a boat. He goes camping on Dartmoor overnight. He's not no longer discharging over a rock or kneeling down in the mud. This comes out, all tie upable, mm -hmm. all disposable. That's his Rick's. And as you were saying, because you have, you of all people, are great approaching these sort of things with a sense of humour, that you keep your pegs in it. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 I didn't know you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep your clothes pegs in. I've got a spare one. I've got a spare one if you want it. Perhaps I can say that the, the key here is not being afraid to live with your disease. Yeah. Yeah. It's about being, accepting your disease. Medicine has ended for you, it's about getting on with your life. Absolutely. And it's the people that have got the problems that work out the solutions, not people like me. We'll put the details of your blog on our website. Thank you. So yeah. anyone who wants a little bit of, uh, a little bit of information, um, uh, maybe a, a kind word, yes. um, then, uh, then we'll put them towards you. Thank Brilliant. you. Thank you very All much. of you, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much.